Hi, I'm Donna from Mason Creation ZTC. Thank you for joining me today. This is the first in a six part series for making Christmas ornaments from those little wooden blanks that you find at the craft stores. I'll be doing one video per week. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Click the little bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Let's get started on the first one. First thing we're going to do is grab your delight clay and we're going to get started making all the little clay embellishments. Some of the smaller, more delicate items are a little bit difficult to get out of the molds. So I brush the inside of the mold with a little bit of cornstarch and that actually helps aid in getting it out of the mold. Knead your clay just a little bit and then put it inside the mold, smashing it all around, getting it in all the little cracks and crevices. And then you'll take your sculpting tool and get off all of the big chunks of clay. And then after you do that, we'll very delicately go around all the little edges and clean those up. Don't forget to leave a comment or even an idea for a future video. I read and answer all of my comments. And who knows, maybe I'll make a video from your idea. When you're ready to unmold this, you're going to break it away from the edges just a little bit and that will help it unmold somewhat. Then you'll turn it upside down and roll the mold off of the clay. If it gets stuck a little bit, you can use your tool, but very delicately push it out of the mold. If it should break while you're taking it out of the mold, don't even be concerned about that. Once we glue it on the back of the ornament, you'll never be able to tell that it broke. Let's make the little embellishments for the front of the ornament now. These are going to need to form a circle when dry. So we're going to unmold them and then place them on the ornament in a circle so that they can dry that way. And again, don't be concerned if these break. They're very, very delicate. When you try to unmold them, sometimes some of the little tips will break off. Just save all of your little pieces and once we arrange them in our circle on the ornament, we'll let them dry. And then once we glue them on, you'll never be able to tell anything was broken. And we'll be able to use some of the little pieces that broke off to fill in.
Okay, now that you have all of these arranged in a circle, let this dry overnight. Okay, now that the clay is dry, it's time to glue these onto our ornament. I use Beacon Gem Tack glue, but you could probably use just about any glue. You're gonna paint around the edge a little at a time and then add your embellishments, arranging them the way that you like them. You're gonna have a bunch of tiny little pieces that you can use to fill in wherever needed. And here's what's great about the Delight Clay. After you get this piece glued on and you have a little bit hanging off the edges, you can actually take a pair of scissors and cut that right off. It is now time to paint this entire ornament. I'm using Folk Art Color Shift Black Flash it is a black base and it has bits of gold in it. It's actually beautiful. So paint the entire front, let it dry, and then flip it over and paint the back. Don't forget to get the edges as well as you're going around. I'm using a paper that looks like gold music notes. I've got something that's about the size that I want the paper to be on the inside of this ornament. So I'm just gonna trace that on the back side and cut out my circle. Once you have the circle cut out, then go around the entire thing, cutting it in wavy lines so it's not just an abrupt circle. This way it looks like it's aged or a little bit old. Now we're going to use the brown ink and this little felt pool. Get some ink on it and then we'll lightly go around the paper in a circular motion and it'll make it look like an antique piece of paper. It'll get on the edges really dark and then fade into the center a little bit. Now paint the inside of the ornament with some Mod Podge and we'll put that music note paper in the center.
Now coat the entire top of the paper with another layer of Mod Podge. After the Mod Podge dries, put a coat of the Crackle Varnish on the front, and when that's dried, flip it over and do the back. Now let all that dry overnight. Okay, let's add some gorgeous gold highlights to this beautiful ornament. We're going to use Metallic Luster Gold Rush. Just get a little bit of it on your finger and rub it over top of everything that's standing out and it'll absolutely highlight it beautifully. After you're done putting the rub everywhere, then just buff it with a soft cloth and it'll make it shine up a little bit. And then you're gonna put a coat of triple glaze on both sides. Now it is time to add all the beautiful little embellishments on this ornament. You can see the little bit of crackle that that crackle varnish added. I found these cute little stickers at the dollar store that have all kinds of musical instruments on them. So we're going to use the violin and then we're going to add some other greenery to this. If you like what you're seeing, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Next week in part two of this series, we are going to do the cutest little pudgy songbirds. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one.